Hello everybody, Cindy Greenway here, Editor-in-Chief at LawMarketing.com, and today we're talking with Larry Bodine about some ALM legal research that he found on the most effective legal marketing strategy. So Larry, welcome, and uh, I'd love for you to tell us a little bit about this research, and what, what is this most effective strategy that you uh, found out about? Well, interestingly enough, uh, the research showed that client seminars were the most effective of all of the marketing strategies, and there's nine others, and you can go to my blog at LarryBodine.com and see the entire list, but for purposes of our conversation today, it's client seminars. So, client seminars, so I'm thinking immediately, I start thinking about webinars, I start thinking about small seminars just in the local community and that kind of thing. Um, talk to us a little bit about how attorneys can implement that into their practice and, and get some of those um, seminars booked up. Well, webinars are really important in that uh, the nice thing about that is you can reach a much larger audience than you can with an in-person speech. And you know that everybody attending your webinar is basically a hot prospect. And the beauty of a web seminar is, of course, you have all their contact information and you can follow up with them. And webinars, I find, are really simple, too, because you're just, you know, you're at your office. You can fit it in quite easily. There's no travel really involved, so that's always nice. Talk to us a little bit more of the other options that could be, um, you know, something that attorneys could implement. Well, of course, there's no really better way to make an uh, impression than to stand up in front of a crowd and give a speech live. Mm -hmm. It's probably the most effective way to establish credibility. Because when you're in front of a group of people, you know, you're the authority figure in the room. Right. And so I know that you mentioned with the webinars that one of the greatest things is that you have the contact information and so on from the people. How can attorneys get that information from a live event? Because I think that's one of the big struggles is that if they, they go, they don't always get the list of people that are going to be attending or they don't always have information to follow up with people afterwards and their phone's not ringing the next day. So what can they do differently? Well, you can always hope that you've given a compelling speech and people will come up to you afterwards and uh, give you their business cards. But, uh, you know, on a lot of occasions, uh, uh, people will just sit there and ruminate about it and they won't come up, come up to you. So there's a couple of tricks to getting the business cards. The uh, first thing that you should do is uh, announce somewhere at the beginning of your talk that you have some really important research or you have a white paper or you have a download for them, but that in order to get it, you're going to have to email them, and so you need people to give you their cards. A lot of people will give you a card to get something for free. And in that vein, uh, for smaller audiences, what I find is very effective is to give a book away. So I'll go to a bookstore, spend uh, 15 bucks on the hottest business title that's uh, on the shelves, and then at the beginning of the talk, I'll say, you know, I'm going to hold a raffle at the end of the talk. And if you give me your business card and we put it in the fishbowl, uh, you, you'll get a chance to win it. And I have seen people who didn't bring their business cards tear off little pieces of paper and write their name and contact under on it so that they could get the, the freemium. Right. And that's another thing, too. I think nowadays, too, what I've seen happen is at different events, people of um, the speaker has said, you know, if you go to this web page and it's a branded website specifically for that event, you know, enter your information and you'll get this free download or free white paper or something like that. And with everybody now with their phones on their hands, immediately they're logging in and doing that. So I just to add to what you're saying there, I think it's another great way of, of getting information. And then the follow up is a whole other a whole other video, I think, Larry. We'll talk about that in another time. Right. But uh, great. So any other last words of wisdom when it comes to attorneys and implementing speaking as part of their regular marketing strategy? One takeaway you should know about giving a speech is that you should tell stories. People will remember a story. You know, stories have been used to convey messages since biblical times. You know, think of parables. So the idea is when you get up in front of an audience, tell them a story that puts them in their pain, that makes them recognize what their problem is, and then don't give the answer, don't give the solution. So ideally, you'll have been talking about something, someone in the audience will think, oh my gosh, you hit the nail on the head for me, and uh, they'll come up to you and say, what do I do uh, to find the answer? And of course, the answer is hiring you. Right. Well, Larry, you always have great information, and I love you're always on top of the research out there. So thanks again for joining us. People can come and check you out at LarryBodine.com, and I know we're going to be talking to you again. So thank you. Thank you, Cindy.